Oh my goodness. y'all welcome back to another one we are still in arkansas uh it is day two hunt number two and we are on a big feed y'all huge oh we got her going on today boys we got the old argo again thank goodness we brought this machine here Maybe with this wind oh, oh easy son don't be breaking your back you're just a little guy steve <laughs> <laughs> I said I asked, I asked Bobby last night if his last name was actually Guy or if that was just his social media name. <laughs> I was like, "What's your number?" I like Bobby, saving remember, the first and last name. Remember Texas when when uh, uh, Elliot asked you if Mr. Films? Oh yeah, hey, Mr. Yeah. Films. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking like the Michelin Man out here, son. Bill Nye the Science Guy, baby. <laughs> Bill Nye the Science Guy. <laughs> but this is old Trevor Bennett. You, you met him down in Texas. Now you're over in Arkansas getting muddy. Yeah. What do we uh wet. what do we got going on for a feed today? Oh, uh, well, Steven scouted this feed yesterday. Uh, he sat on it basically all day and there's like, I don't know, he said there's probably close to 100,000 if not more. Uh, it's kind of a wet rice field, not really flooded, but just being in Arkansas, everything's wet. Uh, we're gonna throw probably like 120 dozen, a uh, bunch of motion, and see, uh, see what these big flocks are like. A hundred K. They're they're, cl they're saying eight, between 80 and 100 K. A lot of birds. But I do want to give a huge thank you and shout out to Dirty Bird Outfitters. Matt Pill is the owner. He's a great guy. And if you guys are interested in booking an Arkansas snow goose hunt, all you got to do is get a hold of Matt right here. Give him a call, leave him a voicemail, send him a text message, shoot Dirty Bird a DM on Instagram right here they always reply and they would love to hear from y'all they got an awesome crew here and they do everything they can to provide solid hunts every single day but again big shout out to the guys at dirty bird they're solid guys always hooking me up thank you guys i appreciate you all so much oh freddie rico look at you i'll tell you what old freddie he has been doing amazing uh on yesterday's hunt he picked up probably right at 15 birds it was awesome and yesterday he did his first double double he brought back two snow geese at one time had them both by the neck uh on his way back he had one and he stopped and i thought he was just doing his normal stuff trading a bird out for another one you know and I'll be darned if I look up and he's got two birds. And I'm like, he brought them all the way to me. I didn't have the GoPro going, which I really wish I would have. But I was not expecting that. Fred's been doing amazing. It's a lot colder today. We're sitting at 41 degrees. We got a lot of wind. And we'll probably be sitting through a lot of on and off rain showers. Today's going to be a wet one. We're running late, Calvin. We're, We're running, running late. Today. We sat an absolute monster. Dad, no! Oh, Frederick, are you ready, buddy? Sit, Fred, sit. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, son, this might get wild. Look at all these birds. Sit, Fred. Sit. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, he's getting ready to spray. Sit, Fred. Sure everyone's face is covered up. Sit. Sit, Fred. Oh God. As you can see, it's been raining on us for a while here. <laughs> Just a little rain, you know. <laughs> Thank goodness I brought white rubbers. 
There's... Don't move. It's raining. It's spitting. Uh, that's the second time that big groups came and looked at us. Uh, Here! Break off a little bit, shoot, a, shoot some. We'll sit down and do it again with this weather. This is what they like to do. <laughs> it's absolutely pouring on us. Poor Frederick. Ah. Yeah. How are you doing? This is insane, dude. <laughs> My lord. I felt like that scene from Forrest Gump where he talks about all the different rain. <laughs> Seems like the rain's just coming up from underneath us. <laughs> when, <laughs> when he talks about all the different rain? Yeah, have you seen that? Sideways rain. Yeah. Light rain. Light rain. Heavy rain. Sideways rain. Backwards rain. Poor Fred. I'm sorry, buddy. Take a hundred yarder, I don't care. Just lay down. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta put you on. Wow, we're gonna spin on that, but. Lay down. I said it before. Thank goodness you brought that Argo, dude. I know. Perfect in this. That thing has been a lifesaver. All this water. This wasn't here this morning. We got absolutely poured on, dude. Oh my god. Did you stay dry? Yeah, I did. Did you? Yeah, all this, all this water definitely was not here when we first sat up. I mean, it poured on us and poured and poured and continued to pour. <laughs> oh my goodness. This morning when it started pouring, Trevor looked at me and said, Bobby, welcome to Arkansas. And I go, hey, thanks, bud. What up, Brad? Yo, ah, uh, well, um, I ended the video abruptly because, as you've seen, it was it was raining yesterday. Today is the next day, day three. Uh, yesterday we did we did not shoot very much. Uh, the weather really put a damper on stuff. It messed the spreads up. It, it poured on us the entire time. Uh, our spread shot like ten, uh, but top spread yesterday was actually Nick, and I think they shot close to fifty. So. We're running three spreads every single day. Dirty Bird has three spreads. Every spread has uh, its own guide. They do it right out here, y'all. I'm not kidding. But like I said, day number three, this is gonna be our sitting spot here. Looking good. Today's spread actually looks fabulous. We're hunting with, uh, with Greg Rod today. He's uh, one of the main guides here at Dirty Bird. I actually met him uh, back in August when we went to North Dakota for honkers. 
Well, we are out here. Time to go. Just fired up the e collar. You ready to go, dude? Huh? You ready to go, dude? Hmm? Huh? Old Fred. It's hard to get him to lay down at first. He don't want to put his belly in this wet, cold mud. But like I said, we're, we're with old Gregory today. How's it going, folks? South Texas boy. Out here in the slop. Tell them where you're from. El Campo, Texas. El Campo. Hour and a half southeast, southwest, southwest of Houston. Hell yeah. Down in the dirty, <laughs> dirty south. That dirty, dirty. But before we get going, I'm going to show you guys what we're doing. Uh, I'm on the left side, clients are on the right side, and we got three flags down here. And the first thing Greg said, he said, Bob, you want to run a flag? I go, yep. He goes, well, run it. He was like, when I say run it, he was like, don't quit moving it, you know. Don't quit flapping that flag. Gregory says he loves the motion. He, he believes That's by motion. In motion in the ocean gets it done, right? Yeah, so we got the spinners behind us, as you can see. Gonna get it done today. Some on the right too. Here we go. Here we go, boys. They're starting to like it now. Are you boys hungry? We got food down here. So we are hunting a, uh, a wheat field today. Doesn't look like wheat. <laughs> Some volunteer, Some volunteer wheat, yeah, you're right. Oh, this, this group's loving it, dude. Look at this. <laughs> I can't get my phone going. Oh my goodness.
<laughs> I missed. I it. missed all of it. Nope. We've been here, Fred. Here, 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 here. Come on, buddy. Here, 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 here. My bird. My here, Fred. Here, here, here. Dead bird. Well, there we go. Got into some Rossies here, here, here. there. I had no cameras on. My shot cam was off. Uh, my GoPro obviously died. I just had to throw a new battery in it. Uh, we've been sitting here. What time is it? Nine o'clock. Uh, we've been sitting here for two hours and watching a huge feed next to us. And they finally all got up and did it. Here, Fred, let's go. Here. 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 Sit. My bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Got into him, though. I think we dropped probably 10, 10 ish. Hey, what do you got there? <laughs> young birds some young rossies in there that was uh that was a lot of rossies in there for sure well fred he did good he retrieved three that's a dude that's a dude again i'm sorry uh, <laughs> we sat for two hours watching them feed in the field beside us and uh, they just started slowly getting up and then it turned into they started getting up real fast and i was scrambling for cameras everybody's laying back down we're all running around trying to warm up because we got rained on this morning sitting up so my hoodies it's soaked and uh took us a while to get a uh, set down and i just was not ready with the old camera situation i'm really kicking myself right in the butt for that one hi dude Poor guy. He's got to sit in this sloppy mud. It's like, Dad, do something for me. He's like, where are my pretzels? Sorry, dude. I couldn't find any for sale down here. Okay, he's down. All right, all right. Here, Fred, here. Here, buddy. Here, 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 here. Come on, here. Nope, nope. Here. Set. Good boy. That's no. There's one bird out there, dude. Just calm down. Banks is getting it. Set. That's Banks' bird, dude. Don't be trying. Here, Don't here. be eyeballing him, Fred. Right here. Come on. Right here. Cut him up. Let's go. All the way. He's like, Dad. Here. <laughs> He's got like two foot to go, taking 10 minutes. Dad, I'm cold. Heel. Fine. Heel. Come on now. We need us a good old group. Come on. Let's go. Come on now. Greg mentioned earlier it's kind of like a shake weight, you know? We can get out there and give her, give her a good one. <laughs> but it is, it is true. Like when you give some motion, the ones that like it, man, the more you give them, the more they eat it up. Lay down, lay down. Lay 
いるんだいいよはいOn them. At least we got there's a sailor there going towards the trees. Dude. Set. Well, we're out here stomping around. Fred's all the way back there. Fred and I we're out here trying to find a sailor. That last volley we got into, a sailor went all the way out here on these dang tree rows. Went all the way out here up against this tree row somewhere way out here. But a little recap, the last two days. Uh, so the last two hunts have been in this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I'll tell you a few things. Number one, if you guys are planning on coming to Arkansas to snow goose hunt, number one, br number one, bring your waders just in case, because if you're gonna be sitting in wet fields, Nothing better than waders, honestly. Number two, buy you some whites. Some white rubbers, you know, top and bottom. Make sure you get the top and the bottom both. It's key to stay dry. This morning when we were setting up decoys, this is what I had on. I didn't have on my upper, so I was wet half of the morning, shivering and cold. If I would have had on the upper, I would have been fine. It's not like it's real cold. I think right now it's probably sitting at, I don't know, 37, 37, 38, 40 degrees. Oh, and another thing, get you some waterproof gloves. It is key to keep your hands dry. Now y'all might say, oh, Bob, I got the warmest gloves out there. If they're not waterproof, you're gonna lose, I'm telling you, because they get soaked through. It's always wet, it's always raining down here. Constantly, all the time, every day. Look, there's a little creek in here, in this tree row. I didn't know that. Probably because it rains all day, every day. Number three, number three tip. If you've, if you've never been snow goose hunting, um, do not go into it thinking that every day that you hunt that you're gonna get a big spin or kill a hundred plus birds. Not every hunt is good, just like hunting in general. And the reason why with snow geese in particular, they're smart, they're extremely hard. Even with that e-collar, they're not easy, y'all. Just like last year, a lot of you have watched all my snow goose hunts. They're never easy, you know what I mean? We found it, Fred. That snow goose is walking right there. That's our sailor. Come on, Fred, come on, Fred. Fred, 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 dead bird, dead bird. There he goes. There we go. The race is on. <laughs> ah. He ain't that wounded. He done flew away. Sheesh. Okay. Here's another thing. Not only bring your waterproof stuff because of the rain, but because of this, you will every day sit in stuff like this right here. Sopping, standing water, you know what I mean? So you want to have a complete waterproof barrier. Well, back home and uh, let me tell you, just like I was saying, if you go to Arkansas, be prepared y'all. For one, have a white rubber layer on. You gotta have one. Take it with you, wear it at all times. And number two, have you a white hoodie. If you wanna cop one from duckswaterfowl.com, I will link this bad boy down in the description below. You guys know the spiel, when you purchase something from Ducks, it goes directly to helping me bring you guys more of these videos. So I appreciate you all a bunch. But what I did is I took the last two days and I put them into one video. 
The reason being is because the weather set in, guys. It got nasty, it got hard, and uh, the birds just got harder with the weather. I don't know if it was because the decoys might have been wet, what it was, but the birds just got harder with the more rain we had to deal with, with the more mud we had to deal with. I don't know what it was. But since Arkansas, we've already been back home and already did one hunt here at home. And it was only a two-man little hunt yesterday, but we got into some snows four snows to be exact and we got some yumminess cooking inside but this is what i got going on here this is my snow goose i just chunked them out oh yeah and i've let it marinate all night with a little bit of ground cinnamon soy sauce and frank's red hot oh yeah all of it's in there i have no idea how this is gonna taste but luckily, I got my lovely wife here to help me make it taste pretty darn good. What do you call this bad boy? Ninja Foodie, the best meal prep machine ever. I will have to say, ever since she started using that bad boy, the dinners have gotten better. Nothing against you, babe. Nothing against you. <laughs> no one's taken. <laughs> well, here we go. She's preheating the Ninja Foodie. Throwing in the goose. That's our snow goose chunk right there. What'd you set it to, babe? You just set it to sear saute on high. Let it cook for five minutes or so. I think it's gonna turn out pretty good. And then we'll pressure cook it with oh. our rice. Ooh. So what she's doing here is she's gonna sear the snow goose first. And then after it's seared, she's got some rice and beef broth here. And she's gonna set the goose chunks up on the rack and cook the rice down below the goose chunks. That's right. right. Do you wanna add onion? Yeah, we can add some onions. Let's see if we onion. I don't know what I'm doing, but Bobby's outside playing with Fred and left me to attend to the cooking. So we didn't have any onions. So I just added some broccoli. I don't know and see what it's like. So we're gonna get ready to transfer it to the air crisper tray, and then I'm gonna add my rice and uh, beef broth. It's smelling a little bit like French toast, so Bobby adding cinnamon was a questionable decision that he made, but we're gonna work with it. Don't worry, Bob, we got this. I'm gonna save your snow goose here. I'm gonna pour in our beef broth, cup of rice. Okay, now we're actually gonna set snow goose on the rack. We're gonna put our pressure cooker lid on. On high for 10 minutes and go. Uh oh. Are you gonna try this? I'll try it. Absolutely. Where you been, Bob? Out back playing with Fred, dude. <laughs> What's it smell like? It smells like cinnamon rolls in here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, there's our chunks. I actually came out looking a lot better than I figured. That's because hmm. I was cooking it, man. What are you talking about? True. Now, I cook a lot of goose and duck, but this little concoction right here, let me tell you, it's a new one. Let's try her out here. Well, oh, here she is all finished up. Get you a good chunk on there. There you go. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> it's a weird, weird concoction. It's not bad at all. Try it. Just kind of a weird concoction. It's real beefy. Mm -hmm. Taste how beefy it is. Like, tastes really, really beefy, but it ain't bad. Even the aftertaste. Like beef tips. Yeah, beef tips. Mm -hmm. Too much cinnamon. A little too much cinnamon. You get a lot of cinnamon right off the get go. I figured it would cook out a little more, but 
actually pretty good with the rice. Really and good. Broccoli. Yeah, we we added broccoli. We didn't have any onions. If we would have added onion, it would have been perfect. I could eat some more. Yeah, it's pretty good, honestly. It's just like beef tips from the restaurant. Pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. Soy sauce, guys. Soy sauce is one thing that you can use to marinate your duck, your goose overnight, and it always takes a lot of the game out. Come on, Fred, let's go. Come on, dude. But we are back in Kansas. The hunts are firing back up here at home, and I really, really hope you guys liked and enjoyed the Arkansas extravaganza. I'm telling you what, it was a wet and wild one, but I've always wanted to go, and I finally got it out of my system. Big shout out to Dirty Bird yet again, and if you guys want to pick up a white hoodie, any of the Ducks gear, I will link it all down in the description below. Be sure you subscribe and hit that little notification bell down there because it will notify you when your boy uploads. But thank y'all for being here. Until next time. Peace. I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that